Okay, we're back and we're here with part three. Um, as you can see, we're at this page right here after we built our database and all that. And the only thing that you, only two things you want to make sure on this page that you want to make sure you do is um, physical path to the cart is called your URL to your Zen Cart store. Um, you want to make sure you have the S on there, the HTTPS right there for their HT access file because they do have an HT access file and they're going to have the domain HTTPS server and HTTPS uh, server URL they're going to have that correct and the only other thing that you want to do is you want to make sure you enable SSL in your admin area but do not enable SSL f um, uh, for your whole site just to, you just want to do it for the um, for the admin area so let's zoom out we have everything correct we go ahead and save the settings um, and this is an option if you want to enable PHP BB you can I'm not going to do that alright and then you go ahead and you type in the name of your store I'm going to go ahead and do all this I already have it pre-filled in put the zone in and I'm in Florida so I'm going to put that as the zone then you can put the address you know you can do all that stuff um, I'm not going to do it because I want to save time and if you want to install the sample data which I'm going to do in this one because I'm not going to keep it so you can go ahead and install it once you understand Zencart you don't have to do this every time but I'm going to do this just to show you all the features that Zencart has and then I'm going to go ahead and save these settings and then we go ahead and fill out the uh, information for the admin um, area so I'm going to go ahead and put in the username that I want for the login put in the password and then reconfirm that password and then put in my email address and that's basically it and then we just save those settings and we're done congratulations uh, Zen card is successfully installed and uh, just to let you know you have a couple of other things um, you definitely want to go to and, and bookmark um, this link right here this docs folders link just click on that and a new uh, tab will open and this will tell you all the things about Zencart and all that if we go back um, I want to remember that um, and then you want to go ahead and click right click or click directly but I'm going to right click and go to your Zencart and bam we have some issues as you can see we have to get rid of the installation directory and we gotta change the directory permissions on the uh, uh, the files that we uh, the two uh, files that we created so we're gonna have to go back and do that um, so what we do is we go to our SSH client right here and I already have those ready to be changed so I just highlight them and I change them from 0777 to 0755 just right click bam that's changed so if we go back and if I refresh this as you can see now we all we have to do is get rid of the install directory so let's do that I can go back and highlight this and if we zoom in show you what the command is uh, it's rm dash rf zc underscore install press return zoom out refresh bam and we have it already and as you can see it's SSL enabled so if we click on anything you see the SSL still is there because of the HT access file that we put in in the first video and here's all the sample data that was installed and what's good there is they have a sitemap that you can go to and um, 
I'll show you how to create a site map and some other tutorials but as you can see we have it successfully installed so if we go back to the um, installation page we want to right click so we want to go to our admin area so let's right click and go to our admin area boom so here's the Zencart admin area let's log in Oh, we got something else we need to do. we need to do. We have to change our admin folder to something else um, to prevent unauthorized access. Now, there's security features on here that you know that you know you could do that you know you don't have to do this, but I do suggest doing this. Click on this link right here, and Zencart will actually tell you how to do it. So, um, what we have to do is do do exactly what they tell us to do. So what we have to do is go ahead and go to our FTP client, which is FileZilla in my case, refresh, and the folder that we have to go to, as they tell us, is the admin includes configure PHP. So that's that file that we created. So let's go there and uh, let's download that configure PHP file, which is right here and I'm going to download it into that same folder I created that AC access file so let's go ahead and download that right quick and it's coming download it okay so what we can do is we can um, open this file up in uh, notepad plus plus So let's go ahead and open that up. And we want to change the name of this folder. So the lines that we have to change are these lines right here. And make sure that you don't erase any of the dashes. So let's zoom in. And let's see. We can just name it IE. So these lines right here, which is which are lines 42 and 44. If you have Notepad++, i.e., then let's go down here and we're going to rename this directory on line 40, on line 61 also. We put the same thing, i.e., all right, and zoom in, let me zoom out, and then all we have to do is just save that file, and then we go to our SSH client, and what we have to do is we copy that code right there and then we just go rm we use the commands rm dash f not rf dash f when we're only wanting to delete a file we go ahead and delete the current configuration deep php file delete that then we go to our FTP client refresh that and as you can see that configuration PHP file is gone so we're going to upload the new configuration PHP file and it's there now and now that that's there all we have to do is rename the di directory so we got to go rm I mean not RM, MV, um, admin, and then we just go admin, IE, and hit return, and the directory is renamed. If we go back to the client, the ad, there it is, the directory has been renamed and then all we have to do is go back to our admin area which is right here and up in your um, URL just type in add the IE and there it is so that's all you had to do just to rename your directory and you're good. So that's how you install Zencart uh, for your uh, CentOS GoDaddy server.